Hi, I'm John Bader, author of Dean's List. I'm here with Leah Glasser of Mount Holyoke College. Nice to have you here, Leah. Thank you for having me. We're going to be talking about the curriculum and how to explore the curriculum. So my first question is this. With so many courses to choose from, how does a student figure out what to pick? Well, that's one of the first things that new students ask of me and of our, all of our faculty. And I think the key to success in selection of courses is conversation, open mind, and above all, connecting. Connecting with not only peers, but with faculty. That takes some work in the transition from high school to college. Lots of students are not accustomed to those kinds of conversations. So it's critical in order to learn about a curriculum to have those conversations and then to be very open to the possibilities. Now the flip side of that is when you're extremely open, how do you choose? There's such an array of courses. And I think the answer to that is to look for some sense of balance in your selection. So a balance of courses across the week, across the days of the week, a balance of courses that span the curriculum, humanities, social science, science and mathematics, so that you emerge with a really full sense of exploration and a feeling of having a foundation in your education, particularly in those first two years. How does a student with so many requirements find the time or the incentive to explore? Well, that's a very interesting question at a college like Mount Holyoke College, where I teach and, uh, and where I serve as an academic dean. I think that students really need to be pushed to think beyond requirements and also to think about requirements not as a checklist or a series of hoops that they jump through, but as the vehicle for discovering new passions, new interests. So requirements are not necessarily a dirty word. Um, at Mount Holyoke, we have requirements that are so loosely structured that there's a kind of structured freedom to them. And therefore, a student can um, find that most of the introductory courses across the curriculum both satisfy requirements and push them to explore. Leah, what are the relative advantages of an open curriculum versus one with, with more structure, uh, perhaps with core requirements? Mount Holyoke has distribution requirements. And they, are, they sound cumbersome because there are three courses you must take in humanities, two in social sciences, and two in science and mathematics, a language requirement, a multicultural requirement. That sounds initially like many, many requirements. I think the advantage of it, however, is that students have a true sense of guidance in their exploration. What are some of the misconceptions about the curriculum? That is to say, things that they think are interesting and other things they think are boring. Conversation is so critical. And I mean conversation with department chairs, not just teachers, not just with a single official advisor, but with faculty in many disciplines. We have at Mount Holyoke an academic fair at which students can go to any faculty member from any discipline and learn about the courses. Leah, my last question is this. What are some of the most important skills that you can gain from a liberal arts education? Are they marketable? Can you get a job with those? Absolutely. I am a firm believer in liberal arts as preparation for any career. And having been an English major myself and teaching in the English department, I often get this question from students who say, what can I do with English? Or my parents are asking, what can I do with English? But I think if you have strong writing skills, strong speaking skills, uh, the ability to articulate from a broad foundation of preparation, you will be marketable in any field. Lee, I want to thank you for coming to talk to me about the college curriculum. Thank you so much. I enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about these issues and the 11 habits of highly successful college students, do check out the book Dean's List. Thanks for listening.